The peacock nymph was the first fly I learned to tie. It is a great pattern that fishes well and is easy to tie. This version has a thread hotspot and a matching rib. Feed your vice! To tie a hotspot peacock, place a size 16 Mustad C49S that has a 764 inch bead on it into the jaws of the vise and wrap a dozen or so wraps of .010 lead wire around the shank. After breaking or cutting the tag ends of lead wire from the shank, shove the wrapped lead into the back of the bead. Then start some hot orange UTC-70 behind the lead wire and cut the thread tag from the fly once the thread has been secured to the fly. Place a strand of brassy hot orange ultra wire against the shank where the thread hangs below the fly. Then wrap a wrap of thread around the wire and the shank and then gently pull the wire from the back of the fly until the wire tip sits just behind the wraps of lead wire. Continue wrapping the wire to the shank with wraps of thread until the thread reaches just past the bend of the hook and then wrap the thread back to behind the lead wire on the shank. Now place the tips of a bundle of about six strands of peacock hurl against the lead wire and secure them to the shank with a couple tight wraps of thread. Pull the peacock hurl from the back of the fly until the peacock tips sit just behind the lead wire and then wrap the thread around the peacock and the hook down the shank and to where the thread underbody ends at the back of the fly. Once the peacock has been lashed to the shank, wrap the thread back up the shank to the bead making a couple passes up and down the lead wire to cover it with thread. Then apply a bit of super glue to the underbody and spread it out with a botkin around the fly. This will help the fly be able to stand up to fish teeth a little better. Now begin wrapping the peacock hurl around the fly and up the shank. When the hurl has been wrapped to behind the bead, use a couple wraps of thread to tie it off and then cut the excess hurl from the fly. Wrap the ribbing up the fly the opposite direction that the hurl was wrapped up the shank with five or six evenly spaced wraps of wire. When the wire reaches behind the bead, use thread to tie it off and then while pulling on the bobbin with your material hand, helicopter the excess wire from the fly until it breaks with your bobbin hand. To create a thread head for the fly, wrap some thread around the shank to lock everything in place until a small band of thread sits just behind the bead of the fly. Apply a bit of head cement to the thread hanging just below the fly and put two three turn whip finishes on the fly. Then cut the thread. If you enjoyed this tying demonstration of the Hotspot Peacock, please check out my tying demonstrations playlist to the bottom left of the screen. Or check out something YouTube picks from my channel to watch to the right. And don't forget to click that circle in the middle to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything I upload. Thanks for watching. Now, go feed your vice.